Good day, guys. Welcome back to my channel. And thank you for supporting my channel, guys. Sa mga members natin, thank you. Thank you sa pag, uh, pag join sa community din natin. And for this new, please subscribe and like sa mga videos na na-upload natin. And for to this tutorial, I will discuss about the slab distribution then other loadings to beams. Okay? Then, what is the type of the slabs? Yung one-way, two-way, and the cantilever slabs. Paano yung distribute to the beams? Okay? And without further ado, let's start our discussion. Okay. We have here a three type of distribution ng uh, slab. Una is one-way. So, anong distribution ng one-way? For example, ito yung sp uh, span ng slab. May slab tayo. So, we have four beams. Okay. So, ang sinasabing one-way distribution, as you can see, isang option is yung load is distribute to the long span. Ito, as you can see sa araw natin. Ito. So, hatiin lang siya, didistribute yung uh, loads to the long span. So, bali, yung short span na beam natin is walang gamit. So, pwede siya tanggalin kapag one-way distribution yung slab mo. Napapunta dun sa long span. Or, it's either yung distribution ng bakal mo, ng slab mo is papunta dun sa short span. Ibig sabihin, yung long span na yan, hindi mag carry ng load from the one with slab. Okay? Then, makikita ninyo sa right side, uh, ang pinaka point natin dito is kailan natin i-convert yung surface load na to WKP yung weight na yan in kp or kilonewton per meter square sa w in terms of kilonewton per meter which is distributed load sa span na yan throughout the span depending on the orientation or the distribution ng ano natin loads okay then second we have two ways uh, two ways lab load distribution so, makikita ninyo, mayroon tayong dalawang type ng distribution. Yung triangular, then yung trapezoidal. Okay, kung anong load dito, same din dito yan. Okay, then, uh, take note guys na yung ano natin dito, angle of distribution is always 45 degrees. Then, ito sa gitna is 90 degrees, 90 degrees. The same, same din dito, yung trapezoidal, for example, yung load natin into long span, we need to convert the trapezoidal surface load to the linear load. Also, with the loads in the short span, from triangular loads, surface load, we need to convert into linear load to the beam. Okay. Then aside from that, we have here the load slab distribution for the cantilever. For example, yung mga canopy natin. Canopy. So, ang magkikere talaga yan, kung walang beam dyan, walang beam sa perimeter. So, yung lahat ng weight na yan, including the uh, superimposed dead load or maglagay kayo ng live load, is mapupunta dito sa beam na yan. Okay? So, yun. Then, kailan natin yan i-convert into this one. Linear load. So, dalawang pras, uh, klase din. For example, ito naman yung uh, cantilever slab natin is dito banda, yung magkikerry is the short span. Same lang din. Ito. 